Hi y'all, I'm Gina with Country Family Values. And today I'm going to be trying out a cast iron wok that our oldest son gave to me. And I'm not an expert with a wok, but you know, he thought that since I like to use cast iron that he would give me this lightweight cast iron wok. And so maybe that we could incorporate more you know vegetables and whatnot into our diet and so therefore i'm going to give it a try today and let you guys see how that goes see you in the kitchen i'm not by any means an expert with this thing but i wanted to give it a shot and the first thing i'm going to do is get the burner on and put some oil in it i'm adding about a couple tablespoons here so when the pandemic hit, one of the first things my husband did is he got um, a hog and a beef slaughtered. And this is what we got for this. But you can use different pork cuts. But this is what, what I'm using today, just so you guys will know. I'm going to salt and pepper this really good. And as you guys can tell, I've sliced this thinly. So now what I'm going to do is remove this before I add the vegetables. So now I'm going to add about a tablespoon of garlic. So this wok is supposed to be cast iron, and so it's supposed to be safe to use metal utensils, so I'm definitely testing it here. Now I've got these onions about where I like them, so I'm fixing to take them up, add them to my meat. This time I'm going to use a little bit of sesame oil. Just like the flavor of that. I'm using the Normandy blend here, guys. I'm not using the whole thing, but you can use what you choose, but that's the kind that I'm using today. And definitely, if you have some fresh, that's probably even better, but... I did not have any fresh today, so I'm using the frozen. Now I'm going to add my onions and pork back into this. And my garlic, all that stuff. I'm going to add a little bit of ginger. I'm going to add about a fourth of a teaspoon, but I'm just going to kind of sprinkle it here. A guesstimate. I'm going to add about a cup of teriyaki sauce. Today I'm just using the prepared kind, but you can definitely make your own if you like. Now after I get this coated, I am probably going to thicken my sauce with some cornstarch. Corn starch. Want to coat it with the thin sauce first. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of sesame seeds. I'm 
Mmm, that makes it lovely looking, doesn't it? Alright, so this is about a tablespoon of cornstarch with about maybe a tablespoon and a half of water. So I'm going to pour that in there to thicken up this sauce. Lovely, 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 tasty. Boy, it smells so good. I can't wait to give it a whirl. I'm just going to take that. Let's see what it tastes like, guys. Ooh. You guys can definitely serve this over rice or something else, but we chose to serve it over noodles, and I am struggling with these noodles. Mmm, that's pretty good, guys. Definitely might want to give that a try. Thank you, guys.